Hare Krishna, it has been a very long time, right? Yes, what to do? It's all Krishna's plans. We had very important services to do. Uh, our schedule was very busy to shoot any of the tutorials. So anyways, we got some time. So we'll be showing you in this video how to stitch an outfit for Srimati Radharani or for Vrindarani. So here is our Vrindarani deity. She have come from a long way from Vrindavan to receive a lifetime service from us. We are very very glad to get this opportunity. So from now on, in the coming tutorials, you may often see our Vrindarani deity while we are stitching outfits or so on. And the reason why there is no much presence of our Radha Goin deities in our tutorials is that they are not here in India with us, but they are served by my dad who lives in a different country. Um, so as we don't have them at our home here hence we can't bring them in any of our tutorials so anyways um, in this tutorial we'll be showing you how to stitch an outfit for uh, Srimati Radharani but we'll be showing you by dressing our Vrindarani deity because it's exactly the same method in a way how you stitch for Srimati Radharani let's get started with the tutorial by taking our uh, Vrindarani's measurements first firstly we are taking measurements for our Vrindarani's skirt so the height of the skirt is going to be 5 inches. So we are actually including the height of the lotus also. We are measuring for the hip of the skirt. So here it's 4 inches but actually it is 3.5 inches because as Vindarani is wearing her dress now, it's appearing as 4 inches but it's actually 3.5 inches. And for the blouse, we must take measurement like this till her waist. So we got 2.5 inches. So now we are taking her chest circumference. Um, her chest circumference is uh, 3.25 inches. So now let's start stitching the outfit. So now firstly we are going to do some paperwork. So here we have a paper with 5 inches width and with 3 inches height. And we are going to fold it into half. So at the first half inch we are going to mark it for the neck of the blouse. And we are going to mark at another half inch. That is where the blouse shoulder is. So here we are marking at 1.25 inches. So we are going to draw a small curve like this. So here we are going to mark exactly at 1.5 inches. So here we are marking exactly quarter inch to get a perfect shape of the underarm of the sleeve. Now we are going to cut it like this. So we are done doing the paperwork for the blouse. So now we are going to cut this fabric by taking the paperwork as the reference. We are not taking a different fabric for the lining of the blouse. We are taking the same fabric by folding it into two parts. So this extra fabric, we are not going to cut it off. Uh, we are going to keep it for the sake of stitching. So this is going to be the model of the blouse that we are going to stitch for Vindarani now. Okay, so anyways, let's now start stitching the blouse. So firstly, we are going to give a temporary stitch like this over here. So now we are going to exactly stitch on the marking. So by leaving a quarter inch, we are going to cut off this excess part of the fabric. So the temporary stitch that uh, we have previously made, we are going to remove it now. And by the way, if any one of our frequent viewers are curious about who often is present in our tutorials, who often narrates our tutorials. So it's my mom who is present in our tutorials like uh, stitching outfits of the deities and making turbans, making jewelry and all. And I often take part in the painting services, like you can see me in the painting tutorials. And coming to the narration, it's obviously it's me who narrates the videos. Okay, now let's get back to the tutorial. And now we are going to turn this fabric inside out. This is how it looks after we turned it inside out. And now we are going to place the sleeves in this way. 
and we're going to stitch in L shape like this. We need to make sure that we don't stitch on the sleeves. So now we're going to turn it inside out. So this is how it looks after we have turned it inside out. So we got the width of the blouse as 4.5 inches. So now we are going to close this open part of this blouse. And now we are going to stitch dots for the chest of the blouse. We are going to stitch dots exactly at these areas. At the start of the video, we have measured Vindarani from her neck till her waist. It was 2.5 inches. So now as you can see, um, we have got 2.5 inches. We are going to fold this blouse exactly into half. We are going to mark exactly half inch over here and half inch on the other side. That is the place where we are going to stitch dots. Exactly there will be one inch gap at the exact center of the blouse. So exactly we are going to fold the blouse on that line and we are going to stitch it like this by giving it some shape. So this is how it looks after we have stitched the dots. And now we are going to fold the sides of the blouse into exact half and we are going to stitch it like this. This is how it looks after we have stitched it. As you can see we have stitched on the both sides as we have said previously and now we are going to stitch buttons over here we are stitching buttons but it's your wish to stitch hooks or velcro we are done stitching the blouse so this is how it looks after we have stitched and now we are going to stitch our Vindarani's skirt so here we have a fabric with its height being 5 inches and its width being 21 inches so it's 5 times the hip circumference of our Vindarani we have taken extra for the sake of stitching we are going to stitch this fabric with the lining we are going to stitch only on the 3 sides but one big side we are going to leave it without stitching so later we can turn it inside out so we are done stitching on the 3 sides of the fabric so here we are cutting the corners like this so after turning the fabric inside out we are again going to stitch on the edges of this fabric for the sake of neat finishing Uh, so now we are going to close this open area of the fabric by giving it a simple stitch so that the fabrics will not move while uh, stitching the fills. So now we are going to cut the excess off. So this fabric is now ready for getting stitched in pleats. So now what we are going to do is we are going to fold this fabric into half and we are going to mark it over here. So now what we are going to do is we are going to stitch frills in a way that each half of this fabric will be 2 inches. So the total hip circumference of this skirt will be equal to the hip circumference of our Vrindarani. That is the exact half of the fabric. So till that half we are going to make frills in this way. So as you can see it's exact 2 inches. So in the same way we'll be stitching frills on the other half of the fabric too. So we are done stitching the frills. So we have got the hip circumference exactly 3 and a half inches which is our Randarani's hip circumference. And now we're going to stitch a lace border. So now we're going to stitch the fabric in this way near the belt area for the neat finishing. After stitching this belt area we're going to stitch buttons at the two ends. We are going to measure Vrindarani in this way for the dupatta. So it is 18 inches and we are going to take 4 inches extra for the sake of front pleats. So here we have the fabric for the dupatta with uh, 24 inches width and 5 inches height. Actually it's just 22 inches but we have taken extra for the sake of stitching. And later we are just going to overlock all the edges of the fabric and later we are going to stitch the lace at all borders of this fabric. Hurry bowl, we are done stitching this outfit. So this is how it looks finally. And this is how it looks after Vrindarani got dressed up. And here are some other collections of outfits that we have stitched for our Vrindarani recently. Hari Bol, thank you so much for watching our tutorial. And if you have any doubts regarding this tutorial, please comment down in the comment section below. And we are also available on our Instagram account. The link for our Instagram account is in the description box below. You can contact us at any time. And for all the subscribers, thank you so much for waiting for our tutorials. 
एंड थैंक यू सो मच फॉर सब्सक्राइबिंग टू आवर चैनल इट्स सो स्वीट ऑफ यू हरे कृष्णा जय श्री रूपा जय श्री गुरुदेव हरी बोल वृंदा रानी की जय